know, I didn't mean to do, I didn't mean to hurt Danny the dog. And Lord just says, oh, no, I, uh, it's understandable. And first of all, Jojo, you should keep that mutt tied up when it's greeting guests. It's jumping on them. You're an idiot, Jojo. You're an idiot. I love Dio. Dio, you're my favorite side. <laughs> so Lord Joe Stars is like, Dio's just the best. <laughs> for the rest of this entire episode, which is so funny. And, uh, but Joe just like, oh, I think this guy's, I think this guy's gonna try to pull a salt burn on us. So now, my friends, we're gonna go ahead and move on to my inaugural review for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Chat, starting with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Episode 1. Um, thank you to Malcolm for making this review series a possibility. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and I'll admit, like I, uh, you know, I, I, as I said during during my audio commentary, which I'm going to be doing audio commentaries for this show, just makes sense since I'm going to be, you know, uh, watching this. Might as well do audio commentary for them as well, some additional content, bonus content. But as I said during that audio commentary, I'll admit, like I don't know much about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm going into this fairly blind. Um, all I know is is that this is this is based on a long running manga series. I think the anime's been out for a little over ten years now. I want to say, and I guess it's anthology esque uh, to to a degree. I guess you know we're following a lot of the same characters, but just placed in different scenarios and genres. You know, as far as I know, I could be wrong. Please correct me if I am wrong. Usually at the start of all these long running. Uh, review series is for a cartoon or like an anime that has multiple seasons, you know, at the start. I'm definitely going to be fudging some of these ma names, messing up some of these names, definitely uh, renaming them, to, you know, to, to, uh, to make <laughs> uh, it a little easier for me to remember. So feel free to correct me on this, on this long journey. But I, I, I do know that this is a very popular anime based on a very popular uh, manga, and it's got a big old passionate fan base. However... I am proud to say that I have obviously watched this uh, first episode. I got a lot to say about it. I got a lot to say about it. And I, I and also pretty impressed. Pretty impressed so far, chat. But we start in the 19th century, specifically 19th century London. And it's, oh, it's a dark and stormy night, chat. We hear the thunder rolling in. We see the lightning crashing, and it's just a downpour of rain. And we just hear, like, uh, apparently, like, we hear these two people. We hear these two people just talking to each other, and apparently they're surveying this this scene, this scene. And it's we hear this one man, he's just like, ah, look at that. Looks like some rich people crashed their carriage. Let's go ahead and see if we can go throw their stuff and take it for ourselves. And then there's this woman, and we were led to believe that's his wife. And she's just like, well, maybe there might be survivors. Maybe we should check. He's like, ah, I don't care about them. God damn it, shut the fuck up. Let's go see if we can steal some stuff. And so they go down, which is like, you know, this road. It looks like they, they, they went off the road, and they crashed down this little ravine below. Um, but we see just the the carriage chat and the occupants themselves have have died horrifically. We see the driver of the carriage. He's been like impaled like multiple times, like either on rocks or or the or the wreckage of the carriage itself. A goddamn spike is going through the back of his head, out his neck, like and it's like huge, just like ah, like that. His abdomen and rib cage has been ripped apart. We see the woman in the carriage. She's bent. She looks like Megan popping and locking in the Megan movie chat, but not having fun popping and locking. Like, literally, her bones have just snapped in all sorts of different directions, and her legs are just, like, kicked out from under her. Her arms look like a zigzag, but it's, it's a mess. It's a fucking mess at this point, right? And uh, and this and this and this wife and her filthy fucking husband, they're looking through all the wreckage chat at this point. And and the wife, she hears something inside the carriage. She's like, wah, wah. She hears like there's a baby, there's a baby in the carriage. Like, I don't give a fuck about a baby. Who gives a shit? I don't care about that baby. We gotta find stuff. And he sees that, oh, it looks like there's a man, like a man was thrown from the carriage. He seems relatively unharmed. But he goes to the man, he picks him, he's going through him, looking through all his pockets for money and, and, and jewels. He takes the ring off and he notices like a suitcase next to this man. And he's like, a suitcase? I bet there's some valuables in here too. Opens this, this suitcase, Shanna has a mask. It has like a, this white stone mask. And he's like, I don't know what this is, fuck it. And he throws it, 
<laughs> he throws to the side, and the mask tumbles out, and the mask starts, like, vibrating. He goes, nah, and then, and these spikes shoot out of it. He's like, that's fucking weird. I'm like, yeah, that is fucking weird. Just saw a spike shoot out of a mask. Good thing you didn't put it on your face. It would probably kill you. But then all of a sudden, Shaq, the, the, the man... Uh, who uh, the, the filthy husband was, you know, going over, getting all of his albies. He's like, <gasps> he's like, ah, Jesus. You know, he wakes up, he wakes up. He's like, oh, oh, thank you so much. Are you here to save me? And the filthy husband's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> punch, 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 stab, dead. No, he doesn't do that. But he's like, yeah, yeah, we're here to save you. We saw your carriage crash, and my wife and I came over to assist. He's like, oh, thank God for... For lovely peasant folk like you yourselves, you might be poor, but at least you have morality. He's like, yeah, thank you, sir, thank you. He's like, please, can you check? Can you check on my 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 wife and my son and see if they're okay? And the husband's like, uh, so you you didn't mention your driver, your carriage. He's dead. He got like impaled like fifteen different times. Is like it's just a mess over there. Your wife, she's popping and locking. You know, her body just looks, it's just broken, man. I mean, you know, she's got linguine legs at this point. Her, her, the, the, like, the, her arms are like broken spaghetti, I imagine, just cracking as soon as you try to pick it up. It just, it just, she's dead. The kid's, the kid's alive, though. The kid's, the kid's, you, 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 I think he's fine. And he's like, oh, well, at least my, my, my son, my son is, is, is alive. I am, I am Lord Joe Star, by the way, filthy peasant man, and, and your lovely filthy peasant wife. Thank you so much for lending uh, your assistance to us. And I make, uh, as, a, as Lord Joe Star, us, uh, the proud Joe Star family of, of London, we keep our promises. And so I promise uh, to you, filthy husband, uh, filthy man, uh, I, I owe you a, a favor. I owe, you, I owe you one single favor, and it can be for anything. It can be absolutely anything your hearts desire. And I have to admit, the filthy husband who's a piece of shit, he was like, I'll hold you to it. He doesn't waste it right there. He's like, oh, he's going to waste it. He's like, well, I, I want money. I, I want this. I want that. He's like, I want to hold on to that because that could be useful to me. And so he holds on to it. He's like, oh, shit. And then it's the future, the future. It's then like 15 years later. It's a decade, at least a decade and, and some years later. Chad, let's say that. And, and we, we see the sun of Lord Joestar, good old Joseph Joestar. He goes by Jojo. That, that, he says the name of the, the show, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, what a bizarre adventure is he going to have? But Jojo, he's been he's been living his life in complete opulence chat, you know. Seems, seems relatively a good kid. Spoiled, perhaps a little bratty, but he seems to have a, 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 a good heart, you know. Um, you know, but he, you know, he, he likes his, you know, opulent, uh, lifestyle chat. He has a pet dog and he loves his dog and the dog's name is Danny. He's like, I love you, Danny. And the dog's like, I love you too, sir. Like, it's great. You know, he has a passion for food. He, 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 he doesn't have much, uh, many manners when it comes to eating food though. I mean, he's like, oh, oh God, he's just straight up. I'm like, I have never, he's like, okay, take it easy. Even his dad's like, chill the fuck out. Stop, you know, eating your food. Just, you know, chew it before you swallow. He's like, apologies, father. So he's doing that. You know, he defends at one point we meet, we see these two just bullies, these these rap scallions, chat hooligans. Hooligans, I believe, is the word. Yes. Uh, who are just harassing this young woman, this young girl, and they like steal her doll, you know? And they're like, we're gonna fucking rip her clothes off and stare at her boobies. And I'm like, dudes, what are you fucking serial killers? What the hell are you doing? But good old JoJo, he comes in and he's like, unhand that doll and leave her alone. And he proceeds to fight. He's not much of a fighter, at least at first. He's like, uh, uh, uh. And they're like, Oh my God, this guy's like, they were actually like, oh God, not JoJo of the Lord jo Joestar. Like, they were actually kind of scared of him, but now he immediately starts fighting them. He's like, oh, this guy's nothing. And they <laughs> beat the shit out of him. They beat the shit out of him. But then they eventually leave. They eventually leave because they laugh. And, you know, JoJo get, gets up, and the girl is like, oh, thank you. My name's Arena. And, he sh and she goes to touch me. He's like, don't touch me. <laughs> Just like, dude, take it easy. Although, to be fair, he did get the shit kicked out of him. So he's probably a little sensitive to people like touching me. He's like, eh, like that right now. Um, but uh, she's like, are you hurt? It's just like, no, no, it's, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Don't worry about it. I just, I saw you getting assaulted and, uh, and harassed. And as uh, an upstanding gentleman does not let a woman 
get uh, harassed and or assaulted. I'm like, well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Even if he knows he can't win the fight, he needs to uh, uh, stand up against people who would dishonor her. And I saw you being dishonored, and I got to go, bye! And then he leaves, and then he leaves because he sees how pretty she is, and she's she's pretty, Chad. She's pretty, pretty. And he's like, oh, God, girls! And he has to he has to run away. He doesn't like my pee-pee. And he was starting to fu feel funny all over his body, Chad, and he had to go. Meanwhile, we cut to the uh, smelly, uh, filthy uh, husband, Chad, who's now a papa. He's now a father. And we learn that his name is Brando. His name is Mr. Brando. And apparently his wife had died, and maybe or maybe she killed herself. I'm not sure. I, it's kind of, I'm like getting the impression that she either died because she was just so fucking miserable, she just passed away because living with him, which I get. He seems like a, a pretty miserable human being. Or she killed herself. In any case, she gave birth to a son named uh, Dio. And uh, despite his circumstances, uh, Dio is, is pretty intelligent. He's pretty intelligent. He's very well read. Uh, but he's a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> At least based on what I've, uh, what, what what we come to see. But he has to live with his father, who he he serves like the father is bedridden and most likely sick, and he you know requires alcohol. And the son basically goes you know out into the streets and earns a living by challenging people to like chess and cards and things. And that's how he's able to like eke by while still trying to educate. Himself. He's self educated, right? And that's what he and that's what um is is going on. Well, apparently the father is just like. Eh! He's he's he like he keeps retching. <laughs> he keeps retching. He keeps he keeps retching and farting. I'm like, you know, this guy's gonna die. <laughs> Just all sorts of things coming out both ends. And he's like, son, I I listen. I know I I actually appreciate. It. He's like, I've been a pretty shitty dad. I've been a shitty dad, and I've been a shitty you know husband. But you know what? I've I've held on to this one thing. He holds up this like uh, letter. Or he holds up this uh, contract or something. And he's like, upon my death, I want you to go to Lord Joe Starr's estate. And, and you will be able to live there and get all the opportunities that I never had as a young man. I was like, F listen, he might be a piece of shit. But the dad, I have to admit, I was like, you know what? That dad could have like literally used that at any point. You know, that one favor on himself, you know, and enriched himself and probably lost it. But maybe he knew. It was like, listen, I'm a piece of shit. And I'm kind of fucked. But at least maybe the next generation can have, like, a better life than I did. So I got to give the dad that, even though he's a piece of shit. And he's like, go to Lord Joestar, and, and he will raise you as one of his sons. And, you know, Dio's like, cool. <laughs> the dad just, Ugh! and he dies. Dad just dies, shits himself, wretches one more time, dead. Bury him in, his, in a, he actually gets a gravestone. And the son, who has got a suitcase in hand, he's looking down on his dad. He's like, Dad, listen, uh, you're a piece of shit. You're a bad dad. You're an even worse husband. Uh, and so I spit on you. And he spits on his dad's grave. But I will thank you for giving me this opportunity because I'm going to capitalize on it. And I am going to pull a salt burn on their asses. I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean? It's like straight up, Chad. I was like, oh, this is salt burn. This is a talented Mr. Ripley. He's like, I'm going to go there. But I'm going to be a son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to try to steal their wealth for myself. I'm going to steal the Joe Star wealth. I'm going to inherit it. And so eventually, you know, uh, Jojo, he's just, he's just doing great. He's just living his life and everything. But he sees a carriage run, uh, coming up to his house. He's like, oh, it must be the – because his father tells him apparently off, 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 you know, it's not showing the scene. But he's aware that Dio's coming. And the carriage stops, and he introduces himself. He's like, hi, you must be uh, Dio Bravo. My name is uh, jo uh, Joseph Joestar, but you can call me Jojo. Uh, you're, we're going to kind of be like brothers now. Isn't this great? And Dio's just staring at him like – Oh, I'm going to have fun with you. <laughs> like, what, do, what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> and he's like, no, nothing. And then Danny, Danny, like, you know, is just barking, just having a great time. Good old Danny the dog. And he's, like, running up to Joseph. And he's like, oh, yeah, this is my dog. This is my dog, Danny. Do you want to pet him? He goes, no! And he fucking kicks the dog. He fucking roundhouse kicks the dog in the face. And the dog's like, ah! And JoJo's like, what the fuck, dude? Why'd you do that? And then, and then, uh, Lord Joestar comes out, and, uh, because JoJo's like, you fucking kicked my dog! And, and, and Lord Dio's like, oh, no, 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 I apologize, you, you didn't, you didn't see correctly, Joe. 
My Lord, Lord Joestar, I'm so sorry. This is probably you know, not the ideal way to make an introduction. But the dog was coming at me, and I was raised you know, in, in not the best circumstances. And oftentimes, when a, a dog would charge at you, it would, because it wants to attack you because they're starving. So my, I, didn't mean, you know, I didn't mean to do, I didn't mean to hurt Danny the dog. And Lord Joestar says, oh, no, I, uh, it's understandable. And first of all, Joe, you should keep that mutt tied up when it's greeting guests. It's jumping on them. You're an idiot, Joe. Joe, you're an idiot. I love Dio. Dio, you're my favorite son. <laughs> And so Lord Joe Stars is like, Dio's just the best <laughs> for the rest of this entire episode, which is so funny. And uh, but Joe just like, oh, I think this guy's I think this guy's gonna try to pull a salt burn on us. And so they eventually go inside the house and Dio's just like, holy fucking shit, look at all the money here. And he notices the stone mask on the wall. The stone mask is still there, kind of shakes a little bit. It's like, that's fucking weird. I wonder if that'll come into play at some point. Um but uh, Lord Joe Stars is like, you know, live as my son does. You know, you, you have every opportunity at your disposal. You'll go to a proper school, even though I heard you're quite educated. Self-made man. That's, that's very impressive. Very impressive despite your circumstances. Well, you'll have every opportunity um, uh, that my, my, my son does. And I, I'm sure you will grow up to uh, be an upstanding gentleman. He's like, thank you, sir. I, I, I'm so appreciative of this opportunity. And, and my dear, my dear beloved father, I, you know, I'll think of him. I will always think of him and hold him dearly because of, of this opportunity that he, that you have given him and you've now given to me. He's like, you're cool, Dio. I love you. I, I think you're great. Anyway, servants, servants, come and assist you. And so they get in his room ready. And Dio's like about to head up the stairs, and JoJo's just like, "All right, maybe, 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 okay." Because he kind of buys into the lie of, "Okay, maybe he hit, he kicked my dog because he is being chased by like like mongrel dogs in the city." It's just like, "All right, I'll fuck whatever. I'll, I'll wish he would say sorry to me, but okay, whatever. I'll I'll help him a week. Maybe we can hang out." And he goes to take his like help him with his bag, and then Dio's like, "Don't touch my fucking shit!" And he grabs <laughs> he grabs JoJo, and he like puts his arm behind his back, and is like, "I fucking break your arm. Listen to me. Listen." He grabs and he puts him. Headlock, he's like, listen to me right now, okay? Um, I'm here to make your life absolutely miserable, okay? I'm not joking about this, you know, that whole thing. I lied. I just wanted to kick your dog because I thought it would be fucking funny, okay? So um, don't touch my shit. Stay out of my way. Uh, and, and, you know, maybe when I, I'm not enriching myself, um, I'll probably make your life miserable, but in those in those in between moments, in those in between moments, um, um, just pray that I don't even glimpse glimpse you in my eyesight, in my eye line, because I will make it my life's mission to make your existence pitiful. Okay, thanks. Bye. And his leap releases him. He's like, Jojo's like, oh no, <laughs> this is this is not good. This is not good. And then we just see a montage of Dio seemingly just being the ideal son. You know, he's come, he comes across as being smarter, more well-mannered than, than, than JoJo. Like, um, Dio, he gets all of his answers correct on his test, whereas, you know, JoJo does not. His father reprimands him, like, fucking smacks him with this thing. This ruler hits his hand. Um, you know, at dinner, like, Dio is, uh, like, he eats, you know. I have to admit, Dio, much, much better uh, dinner manners than, than Joe. I'll give him that. He, he eats well, and he's not a fucking uh, 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 hog at, at the dinner table. Like, he's, he cuts his meat, cuts his food, and drink. Dio, like, JoJo's just like, ah, 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 ah. And, then, and then the dad's like, why can't you just be more like Dio at the dinner table? Servants, take his food away. You will, you will go hungry this, this evening, JoJo. He's like, no. Nah. And then apparently, like, JoJo, is, ever since the fight he had with those uh, bullies, he's like, well, I want to train myself, and so he's been doing a lot of like physical training and he wants to be like a better boxer. He's like one of the best in the, like his village or whatever uh, in the city. And, uh, Dio or just like, well, fuck that. I'm, I'm going to kick his ass. And so he goes to this kind of like uh, amateur, like boxing, like outside boxing kind of like tournament. And, uh, Dio and Jojo get in the ring and Dio just beats the fucking shit out of him. <laughs> he just beats the shit out of Jojo. And he's doing like all this fucked up shit. Like he's like, cause even they have some rules. It's like, all right, listen, a punch in the face and that's it. If you punch the person in the face, then, then, then match is over. Right. And Dio, he purposely doesn't punch like, uh, Jojo in the face until like the last minute. Uh, like, he wants to hurt him, so he's punching him in his ribs, punching him in his stomach and everything, like, really fucking him up. And then eventually he punches him in the face. He puts, like, everything he can to this punch, and he thumbs his eye, too, which is a pretty shitty move to do his thumbs. He's like, ah, so it hurts his eye as well. And then um, 
everyone's like, oh, Dio, you're like the best. You're so cool. Like, how did you do that move? What, what did you do? He's like, ah, oh, you know, I learned, I learned it on the streets. He's like, you were raised in the streets. He's like, yeah, yeah, but now I live here. They're like, whoa, it's so cool. And he's like, can you teach us some of your moves? He's like, well, yeah, but not here because JoJo, he's kind of a snitch. It's like, if I were to tell you, you know, exactly, he would just tell everybody. And everyone's like, JoJo's a fucking snitch. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I kind of learned about that recently. You know, I was trying to like open up to Lord Joe Star about something that like happened to me in my life and it was really sad. And then JoJo like started making fun of me about it and he just told everyone about this story and they're like oh Jojo's a fucking dick hey Jojo you fucking suck and he's like what are you talking about my eye hurts <laughs> like he's like what and I was like ooh Dio's a son bitch Dio's a fucking son I hate him I hate him so much and so Dio pretty much just turns all of Jojo's friends against him like at one point like you know Jojo's just like god damn it this sucks and it's like Danny the dog you're like my only friend and Danny's like I hate that guy man he doesn't talk but I, I imagine this is what Danny the dog would say I hate that fucking guy he kicked me in the face he did he did and like at one point Jojo sees his friends walking by and he waves to them he's like hi guys hey you want to hang out and they're like no you fucking suck Jojo and I'm like oh it's like oh it's so it's so bad and he's like fuck you guys I'm not a snitch and you know and he's, he's just he's feeling sad he's just like my life fucking sucks my love sucks but then all of a sudden she looks to the side and he notices uh, uh arena i think that's her name the, the girl from earlier arena and uh she like has this basket and it's like filled with fruit or grapes i think like red red red, red grapes and she's like oh boy and then she just she goes guys hi hi and she just puts the basket and oh that's the th thing before because uh, Jojo, when he saved her, he left his handkerchief with her. He like he it fell out of his pocket, and because it was like he was bleeding when he got the shit kicked out of him by those bullies, and so she puts it in the basket. He goes, "He's like wait," and then she but she's running off, and then she you know and then he's looking at her and he sees the basket and he, and he's just like, "Oh, well, that was really nice of her. Maybe you know I'm gonna I'm gonna go see her. I'm gonna go see her." Uh, tomorrow, Danny and you know him and Danny the dog, they eat the grapes and the fruit and everything. They have a good time. And um, after that, um, you know, JoJo uh, is able to finally talk with and then meets with Arena. And they pretty much just start falling in love with each other. They start doing everything with each other, um, you know, going on dates and... And, uh, you know, they go swimming in the creek, chat, and then they have picnics, and they read to each other, and they play, and they share all their secrets. Like, all that fun stuff, right? And, you know, at one point, JoJo, he writes their names in on a tree trunk, and the hearts and everything, and, and it's like, oh, it's so sweet. And Dio is just like, I must destroy this. <laughs> He was like, I will destroy this love. <laughs> He's not, he is not about these two followers. Like, no, 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 no. JoJo needs to be miserable, which I feel like this is going to be a running theme in this goddamn show. <laughs> I've got a sense this what it's going to be. It's like, I need to make this fucker miserable. And so it's, um, one day, you know, JoJo and Arena, they're like, you know, after their, whatever, their date or their activity, like, all right, bye. They're like, they're heading home. It's like, it's like almost the evening and sun setting. And uh, Arena heads home. But she runs in the Dio and uh, these two bullies that are kind of like his, you know, is part of his entourage now. And he's like, oh, will you hang out with uh, Jojo, that idiot? She goes, leave me alone. She's like, she immediately knows Dio's like, you, you fucking suck. She just has that sense. And he's like, the fuck did you say to me? And he grab immediately grabs her. And he's like, has he kissed you yet? And she's like, I'm not telling you that. And he's like, don't worry, because this will be your first fucking kiss. And proceeds to sexually assault her. Literally just force forces himself and just, ah, and just starts making out. And the, and the bullies are like, oh, shit. It's like, fucking shut up, guys. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, I should have expected this with, with him at this point. But sexually assault, like, forcibly kisses her. She falls to her knees and is kind of, like, in shock, as of course you would be. And she starts crying. She's trying to hold back her tears, but she starts crying. And he was like, yeah, I bet, that, I bet that that was your first kiss ever. I bet it was pretty goddamn good, wasn't it? You're lucky. And he starts walking away with the bullies, you know. But then all of a sudden, the bully's like, uh, hey, boss, look. And she's, like, literally literally using like dirty like puddle water like to wipe his fucking spit and just the sensation of his lips on her face like she's saying look at him like fuck you fuck you and this is the first time other than maybe when his father kind of like threw like a bottle at him or not even then this is the first time his like his whole facade falls because he can't believe that like this girl is just so disgusted by me he's like how dare you how what how, how 
how dare you? How fucking dare you? That was the best kiss that I ever gave. And you, and, 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 and you should be lucky that you got it, you fucking bitch. And he walks up and just, bah, and just hits her. Backhands her. I'm like, oh, and even, the, even the boys are like, whoa. <laughs> it's like, listen, there's sexual harassment, sure, but physical assault, you know, I don't know. And, and he is like, you, 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 that's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. It was like, oh, the first time where that, 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 that facade of his uh, fell. And she's just kind of, she's trying to collect herself at this point, right? And then it's, um, and then it's later on. And JoJo, like, uh, he, he sees Arena. It's like, oh, hey, Arena, how you doing? And then she, she's like visibly kind of like upset. She doesn't know what to say. And so she turns around and she runs away. He's like, what? And then, and then these, uh, these kids, uh, that I guess heard about the assault, they all start laughing. <laughs> yeah, sexual harassment, assault slurs. And uh, he's like, what the fuck are you guys laughing at? And it's like, oh, you didn't hear about what Dio did to her? Yeah, I gave her a good kiss and a good smack across the face. It's what she deserved. And JoJo fucking loses it. Justifiably so. He loses it. And he's like, dude! And he runs back fucking home. Oh, just the fucking huge goddamn manor doors, the double manor doors, just boom, they open. He's like, Dio! and Dio is just down the, in, the, in the living area, down in the, in, in the atrium or whatever. Just, just, and he just, camera just cuts to him. He's reading a book. And he's like, yes, <laughs> yes, Jojo. And he's like, what the fuck did you do? What did you do to her? And he's like, I gave her the kiss of her life. And she didn't appreciate it. And so I gave her the next best thing that she deserved. And JoJo's like, fuck you, you piece of shit. You've been making my life miserable this entire time. You're a bad person. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. He's like, you can't beat the shit out of me. I'm better than you, JoJo. I'm smarter than you. All right. I'm more well-mannered than you. And I'm certainly a better kisser than he's like, ah! He fucking he eats himself at, at Dio. And Dio, he blocking everything. He's blocking everything. He gets, he gets Jojo in there. And Jojo, he initially goes down. He's like, uh, trying to recover. And he's like, what are you going to do? What can you do against me? And, you know, and, 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 and Jojo starts remembering, like, Arena. And when he fought those two bullies and, like, you know, what he said to himself then is, like, even though if you know you're outclassed, you got to still stand up for what's right. You got to stand up against those people that harm other people. And, 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 and a lady's honor. And he's like, fuck it. And he just puts everything he possibly can into this fight. He gets up, bam, and he punches Dio so goddamn hard, fuck it, and breaks his nose. He's like, ah, ah, <laughs> starts screaming, starts screaming at this point. And JoJo just grabs him, slamming things, but and, and, and like the, the blood, the blood from his nose spurts out so far that it hits the mask on the wall, and the mask is like, mm, that's some good blood, falls on the floor, and then it activates its like weird spiky prawns again. It's like that's weird. They don't know if they notice it. I don't know if they notice it, but I, I saw that happen. I was like, huh. And um, JoJo it, like beats the shit out of uh, Dio. And Dio's like, fuck, hold on, fucking hold, g give me a second, Jesus. Like, Dio pushes him back, and he pulls out a knife, and he's like, I didn't have to want to have to fucking do this yet, but I'm going to fucking gut you right here in your goddamn home. And then, and then Lord Joe starts like, oh, what's going on? And, you know, fucking Dio hides the knife. And he's like, oh, listen, I know that, you know, boys fight, it's how it is. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Yeah, is that how they do it? Like, Lord Joestar, you fucking suck, Lord Joestar. Yeah, but I saw what you were doing. He, like, he, he saw everything, okay, uh, up to this point, and he even remarks at JoJo, but I saw that you were hitting Dio when he was still down. It's like, Dad, he pulled a fucking knife on me. I didn't see that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, you're both punished. Go to your rooms. Go to your rooms, you know? You're no supper tonight. And they're like, holy shit. So they both go to the rooms. And things. And, but Dio, you know, JoJo is just like, I gotta fucking somehow figure this out. I know what I'm doing. Dio's just like, I fucking swear vengeance upon you. Uh, and then it's later that they, they both go to bed. They both uh, sleep, seemingly. And then it's the next day. And um, uh, the butler, I guess, I guess in, I guess this was the thing. Uh, the butler, I guess they, they burn trash a lot. I guess they burn trash a lot. And so they go to like this refuse, like furnace thing. 
and he, I guess he's like these leaves or whatever, and he puts these leaves in there, but he notices like there's this big wooden box there. And he's like, ah, I guess one of the servants is just burning a big wooden box. I'd be like, what's inside this? Like, if I was this guy, I don't think he did his job right. He was just like, he didn't want to, he didn't fucking care. And I was like, who put this giant fucking wooden box in here? This is weird. Ah, who gives a shit? Lights up a cigarette. Throws the match in there, starts burning the refuse or whatever it is. Um, what the, the the debris? The I guess he's just burning leaves. I don't know. Any case, suddenly there's a shit. And this is kind of fucked up. Suddenly, uh, there's just all this movement inside the furnace. Like, uh, 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 he's like, oh my god, oh my god, is someone in there? Oh shit, someone's in the box. And he's like, still smoking the cigarette. <laughs> I'm a panic attack. And. Jojo comes from uh, comes home from school and his dad's like, "Hey, son." He's like, "Hey, dad, what's wrong?" He's like, uh, "I guess I should show you." And we see the burial mound, and he explains like, "Yeah, so the dog was inside the furnace and was burned alive." Danny the dog, by the way, yeah, good old Danny the dog, and um. You know, uh, we believe that it was actually a, a, a would-be burglar who was scoping out the place and, and wanted to do away with the dog first so he could break in and steal our valuables. And I'm, and I, even, I'm, I mean, the dad's, this dad's in his fucking fantasy. I was like, God damn it, Lord Joster, you're, you're an idiot. You're fucking dumb. And even, even <laughs> Jojo, he stops his dad. He's like, Dad, it's fucking Dio. He's crazy. He's like, no, no, not Dio. No, he's in school. I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> And JoJo's like, yep, yeah, yep, yep, yep. And JoJo's not even crying. He, he, he's, he's, because this point, he's just like, I should have expected him to kill the dog. I should, I should have expected him to kill Danny. God fucking damn it. And he's just like, and he's like, he's going to try to hurt everything else I love. He's going to try to hurt Arena. And then we cut to, to Dio. We cut to Dio. He's like hanging out in the city. Fucking smoking a cigarette. He's like, and I killed that fucking dog. Yeah, and I do it again. I do it 10 times over. But I've learned something. I've learned something. I've learned not to underestimate JoJo Joestar. Joseph Joestar, I, I certainly haven't understood. I mean, I, I went a little too far, went a little too far, and I exposed myself, and, and I realized that as great as I am, as smart as I am, as, as great as a fighter as I, I, I am, uh, I, I have a temper. I have a temper. I'll admit, I have a temper. He's like talking to us. I have a temper, and you know what? I got to work on controlling my temper. I got to work on controlling my anger, and I must not underestimate Jojo Joestar. And that, my friends, is my scene by scene by scene by scene breakdown chat to Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. A good episode, but my God. I mean, it gets you invested because you're just like, fuck this guy. Fuck Dio. You know, it's just like, ooh, it's so already you like you want this guy to get it. And I'm like, all right, here we go. Here we fucking go. But I got a feeling though, chat. Yeah. Yeah. If you're a dog in this show, it's not going to work out for you. <laughs> but it was a fun episode. It was a fun episode. Oh, man. This whole episode is an exercise in frustration. It kind of is. It kinda, but in a good way, in a good way. It's like, oh, God damn it. Oh, man. This is uh, where I went. Fuck this show. And didn't, oh, you didn't watch it again after this? Well, I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be watching it for, well, you know, for many seasons at this point. I guess they have nine seasons. So buckle up, buttercups. Let's fucking go. Let's do it. Or at least the first couple of seasons. Um, one of the rules of JoJo is JoJo hates dogs. Oh, shit. Oh, the, like the, the series itself hates dogs. Damn. Damn. Six seasons. Six seasons. Thank you. Thank you for the clarification. So there you go, chat. Woo. But it was fun. I really liked it a lot. And uh, audio view commentary is going up with the Patreon. Audio is already up there right now. So you can see my, uh, not the dog, you know, all that. Um, and the video version will be posted most likely this evening uh, or, or possibly tomorrow. So, yeah. The first, uh, first season is 12 episodes. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. It's like Salper and the Good Son, Talented Mr. Ripley, at least so far. Yeah, I like it a lot. Pretty good. Thank you, Will. Appreciate that. Thank you. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, you saw that. Uh, <laughs> not a fan of the show, Mr. Throbin. Well, hopefully my reviews can make it a, a, a little bit better. Mm-hmm. I love that Sulpert is now a verb. It's a verb now. <laughs> yeah, so this this will be a fun one. This will be a fun one to do. It's like, how the fuck is Dio going to get away with this to, uh, this week? You know? 